Next we shall see what is segmentation in memory management. The one problem with paging is that the user view of memory is entirely different from the physical view of memory. The user's view of memory is not the same as the actual physical memory. Suppose a given program is defined like this. There are some global variables, then there is a main routine, then the local variables for procedure 1 and the code portion for procedure 1, the local variables for procedure 2 and code portion for procedure 2. Now if we use paging to divide this logical address space into pages of equal and fixed size then suppose the division happened to be like this. We can see that the main routine, a portion of main routine is moving to one frame along with the global variable and the remaining portion of the main routine is moving to another frame. Similarly. The data portion for procedure 1 is moving to one frame and the code portion is moving to another frame and for procedure 2 the uh, local variables or the data portion is moving to one frame along with the code portion of the procedure 1 and the code portion of procedure 2 is moving to another frame. So from user point of view, this program is having some modules or segments where the global variables can be considered as one module or segment and the main routine can be considered as a segment and the procedures can be considered as a segment. But here the division is not in accordance with the user view of memory. But in segmentation, instead of dividing it into equal sized pages, we divide them into segments of varying size. Here the global variables is considered as a segment and the main routine is considered as another segment and the procedures and your procedures is considered as another segment and each segment is identified by a segment number or segment name. So here we can see that the division is in accordance with the user view of memory and the size of each segment, the length of each segment is varying and it is a kind of dynamic partitioning. Now we can load the segments to the physical address space to any address space of the physical memory if enough space is available. Suppose the segment 0 is loaded to the address 4000, segment 1 is loaded to the base address 1000 and segment 2 is loaded to the address 2500. When we load the segments to different address space of the physical memory, we have to keep the information in a table like the page table in paging. Here we have segment table in segmentation. And for each process we have a segment table and the number of entries in the segment table is equal to the number of segments of the process. Here we have three segments hence three entries in the segment table and each entry specifies what is the base address to which each segment is loaded as well as what is the length of each segment. In paging, we have pages of equal size, hence no need to specify the length of each page. But here the segment sizes are varying, hence we should specify what is the length of each segment. The segment 0 is loaded to the base address 4000 and the length is 400. The segment 1 is loaded to the base address 1000 and the length is 700. The segment 2 is loaded to the base address 2500 and the length is 1000. Now how does the address translation works in segmentation? CPU will generate the logical address and that logical address should specify what is the segment number and what is the offset within that segment number which we need to access. Suppose we have to access the uh, word number 100 within segment number 1 and the segment number is equal to 1 and the word number is equal to 100. Then with this segment number, the segment number will point to one particular entry of the segment table. 
here the segment number is equal to 1 and the entry corresponding to the uh, segment number 1 is this where the base address is 1000 and the length of the segment is 700 then first of all we should check whether this offset is within the limit of the length of the segment whether the offset is less than the length of the segment if it is not less than the length of the segment it means it is not a valid address hence it will create a trap to the operating system and if it is less than the length then it means it is a valid address then we can obtain the physical address by adding the offset with the base address the base address should be added with the offset to get the physical address here it is thousand thousand plus hundred which is thousand hundred from here we can get the physical address and it will point to the segment number 1 within the physical memory and the word number 100. From here, we can access our required word or byte. This is how address translation works in segmentation. The main advantage of segmentation is the physical view of memory is same as that of the user view of the memory. And one more advantage is paging is a type of fixed partitioning and wherever we have fixed partition there is chance for internal fragmentation. So here we are not using fixed partitions hence there is no chance for internal fragmentation but this is a kind of dynamic partitioning hence there is chance for external fragmentation that is the condition may arise such as there may be enough memory space available in the physical memory but since it is fragmented across the different parts of the memory we may not be able to load any particular segment to the physical memory.